Olimpia Técnica número 17, imparto la asignatura de inglés en segundo grado. Uh, ok, uh, guys, welcome back to our second session at the, the Hest Media uh, Studio. We are going to work today with another activity on Unit 1A. This is worksheet number three. And uh, remember that we are working with uh, our social practice and the competency, competency. They are exactly the same as the last uh, session. Okay, we are going to begin with the dialogue. You can uh, look here on your worksheet. This is worksheet number three, I repeat. And uh, on the top, you can see this dialogue, the dialogue we have here. Uh, it is a dialogue at a Photoshop. Okay, the Photoshop is the place in which we can um, buy uh, cameras, uh, photo cameras or video cameras. Okay, I am going to read it. Sales girl, may I help you? Customer, yes please, I'm looking for a camera. Okay, these are excellent. Which is cheaper? The Sony one. How much is it? $100. Why don't you look at the Canon? It's good. Uh, is there a cheaper and smaller camera? What about this one? Okay, the dialogue continues here. It's a Kodak and it's $85. Exactly what I need. I'll take this one. Okay, here in this conversation, in this dialogue, we could highlight some important information for getting some uh, main ideas. First of all, the name of the place. Remember, it is a Photoshop. We have two characters. The person, in this case, the salesperson is a, is a woman, it's a, it's a sales girl, and the client, the customer, okay? Other important things to highlight are the items, the goods they, uh, the customer is looking for, okay? In this case, it is a camera, okay? Uh, another important thing are the, the marks, okay? Here we can see that there is a Sony, it is mentioned a Sony, a Canon, and on the other part, a, a Kodak, okay? The price is too. $85 for the Kodak and $100 for the Canon one. Okay, these are some of the important ideas. Another one, remember that we are uh, we have to identify the suggestions the different ways to uh, uh, give suggestions, okay? Uh, we can notice here, for example, that here the sales girl says, why don't you look at the Canon? Okay, this is one way to give a suggestion. Okay, and the other one, a way to confirm, is exactly what I need because remember that one of our achievements is to confirm the purchase. Okay, with this uh, question, with this uh, dialogue we have read before, we are going to answer the second uh, exercise. It is a questionnaire. Okay, it has five uh, questions. Number one is what's the customer looking for? Okay, we want to know the item, the good that the customer wants to buy. Two, which camera is cheaper and smaller? Cheaper, remember, is of a, uh, of a little price, okay, and smaller. Uh, how much is the Canon camera? We want to know the cost of the camera. Is Canon a good mark? We want to know if uh, the Canon is a good mark or a, or a bad one. Uh, what's the customer's final choice? We uh, need to know what is the final decision of the customer. Okay, well, after answering all these questions, as we uh, used to do it uh, in the classroom, we are going to pass to the grammar points, okay? Uh, comparisons, this is the, the grammar uh, topic of today, the comparisons. In English, we have two different kinds of adjectives, short adjectives and long adjectives. We are going to focus today only in the short adjectives, adjectives with only one syllable. Okay, I, I wrote here these examples, cheap, small, fast, and tall, okay? Uh, for doing comparisons in English, for these kind of adjectives, we have to use two letters, okay? As you can see here in the dialogue, I am going to pass the paper again. We have this word, which is cheaper, okay? Notice, cheaper. And here, is there a cheaper Again, and smaller, okay? So what is the what are the letters, the two letters that we need for doing these comparisons? Okay, exactly, it's ER, okay? 
cheaper, we add er to the adjective at the end of the adjective. Smaller, okay, cheaper than, smaller than, faster, and taller. Okay, cheaper than, smaller than, faster than, taller than. In uh, Spanish we could say, más barato que, más pequeño que, más rápido que, o más alto que. Okay, now let's uh, transfer this part into concrete examples. Example number one, Mark is taller than Patrick. Okay, here we, we are saying that one person is taller than the other one. In this case, Mark is taller than Patrick. My watch is cheaper than yours. Three, the blue jacket is smaller, okay, is smaller than the red jacket, okay. These are three examples. Okay, I want you to uh, remember that in English there are uh, irregular adjectives, we have irregular comparisons. Examples, good, it is not good there, okay, here, as it is uh, an irregular comparison, we say good, better, bad, worse, far, farther, little, less. These are the comparisons for these concrete adjectives. Repeat, good, it's better, bad, worse, far, farther, and little, less, okay? Well, after all this explanation in your uh, worksheet, in the paper you have uh, at home, you are going to um, answer, you have this last exercise, okay? in which you have to complete the sentences using the adjective in the parenthesis, okay? These are the adjectives in the parenthesis. In this case, in number one, cheap, fast, and small. Okay, I am going to do number one for you to realize what you have to do. Okay, uh, the Levi shirts are cheap than the Calvins. What are we going to write here, okay? Uh, remember that the, on the previous uh, paper, I told you that we have to do the comparison by adding er to the adjective. So, in this number one, the Levi shirts are, we write, cheaper, okay, than the Calvins. Number two, fast. A Ferrari is than a Nissan, okay? So, we write here, faster, okay? A Ferrari is faster than a Nissan. Then you have number three. A laptop is small than a desk computer. Okay? And then you have number four, number five, etc. And the last exercise, I didn't uh, wrote, the, I didn't write the, the last exercise here, but you have in, the, in your worksheet, uh, to complete the dialogue with options from the box, you have here a box with uh, several options, and you have to fill in the blanks of the dialogue for completing it with logical ideas, obviously. Okay, and this, uh, and this is all. This is all the activity for today. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. And remember, if you have any questions, you can contact me by sending me an email. Thank you very much. See you later.